We take you now to a milestone in the recovery from the devastating wildfires in Southern California. A Pasadena couple this week became the first residents to return to a rebuilt home in the Eaton Fire burn zone. That home is designed to resist any future fires. And tonight, Jonathan Vigliotti looks at how technology is being used to prevent wildfires in the first place. It's a California paradox. What looks so lush from above can be a tinderbox underneath. It's going to be a lot more volatile because there's a lot more dead material in the in the brush. Dave Manson spent 35 years as a firefighter. He's now on the cutting edge of innovation, helping to navigate a robot to clear brush in unforgiving terrain. How does this technology compare to human crews? Well, for starters, the machines don't get poison oak. Well, living in California, you can't ignore or wish away wildfires. Even with no firefighting experience, Anna Kulakina helped design robots that can do control burns in addition to clearing brush. And if you can go and remove that vegetation, you can deny the very thing that wildfires need. And in just one week, the burn bot removed this whole section, sucking up so much brush, some are calling this device the Roomba of the forest. Is there a world where we could see burn bots doing the job of prescribed burns uh, entirely without any human involvement? I don't think so. This is not the world of self-driving cars. This is the world of let's get technology with our firefighters and our boots on the ground. So this isn't just, you know, flashy innovation. This is a solution. This is true, yeah. It's the most basic solution. The best way to deal with a major wildfire is to prevent it from spreading. Jonathan Vigliotti, CBS News, Saratoga, California. The Roomba of the forest. I love that.